Pomegranate is going to have simple, entire, opposite to sub opposite leaves. If you look at the petiole, it's like hot pink, almost red. Petiole. Yeah. On the newer growth. Oh, yeah. Um. Obviously, you can tell that it's got pomegranate-like fruit. The way you can tell it's a pomegranate because it's still got the flower calyx on the end of the fruit. The, the little crown-looking thing right here? Yeah, it's the, oh, the flower calyx. The flowers are almost going to be carnation-like. Y'all know, know what a carnation looks like? No? Yes? Maybe? Yes. Um, what's gonna look like a carnation? The flower. It's gonna look kind of like a carnation. It's gonna be a suckering, multi stem, large shrub, small tree. Um, kind of an upright habit. Pretty, know, pretty distinct. Vitex Agnes Castus going to have palmately compound opposite leaves. I don't think we've seen any palmately compound yet. So this is one leaf. Opposite. Looks like a palm. Looks like cannabis. Y'all are silly. It does look like, it kind of looks like. I've never seen pineapple Y'all won't. Forget it. The, the leaves, or not leaves, the flowers are going to be typically in Which panicles. One? Vitex agnus Vitex, castus. The last one. Yeah. Got fragrant leaves. Now, another plant looks like yes, like very fragrant flowers. leaves. The um, flower is going to be in flower spikes. Um, typically a blue purple color. If you look over here, this one's kind of got a light, light purple, almost pink color. It's just a different variety, different cultivar. Uh, he, this is typically what you're going to see on a chase tree. Um, it's going to have the flower panicles will persist on the tree. The seeds, so you can kind of tell it's that was where the flower was, obviously, and they will persist on the tree. Um, it's going to have kind of some of this still kind of dead growth on it. Um, yeah, that's kind of one of the drawbacks. It always has like... Yeah. The foliage is going to be kind of a glaucous, okay. almost gray, green to it. Showing its potential to have beautiful yellow fall color. This is Mexican Buckeye. And... Ungodia, I can't, un, Unadia, One of them crazy things, you know. Yes, it's not a true buckeye, but yes, the fruit. That's awesome. It's typical. Whoa. You're going to have three um, That's so cool. little like seeds in the little pod. You can see that. Which is how it's got its common name of buckeye. That's why you don't always go by common name. Just an example. So the leaves are going to be pinnately compound. Um, typically from in leaflets of five to seven. Actually, I'm not looking at the right, but they are commonly compound. Like um, Do they hang like that all the time, like the leaves? Yeah, this is a native here. Oh wow, they're really stiff. Too. Native here. Yeah. Do they droop naturally droop like that? Pinately compound, not palmately compound. Do they droop? Like, yes. Okay, no, natural, no, no deficiency. Point, or point downwards. No, there's okay. no deficiency Beautiful. about this tree. Yeah, it, is gorgeous. A, it is defoliating, but it's because it is <laughs> fall. <Okay>. Um, <laughs> so, seven to nine leaflets. So this one's got seven. It's going to have typically beautiful yellow fall color. Um, it's going to be long 
Accumin it tip. Oh, okay. So it's got seven nine leaflets, so it's pin eight. Yeah, you see that. It's pin eight. Pin eightly compound. He's probably taking a break. Yeah. Also. Yeah, I'm sure he is. It's going to have. <laughs> Donut break. You can kind of see lenticels <laughs> that are kind of like orange to oh, purple in color. Lenticels? Yeah. Oh, yeah. On the gray stems. It's going to have, look at the leaf scar. It's going to have a Y-shaped leaf scar. It almost kind of looks like Mickey Mouse to me. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Doesn't it look like Mickey yeah, Mouse? Yeah, with the two ears. Oh, yeah. yeah. Y'all see it? Yeah, Mickey does. Mouse? It's so smart. yummy. <laughs> the fruit is delicious. <laughs> it is edible, though. So... I've eaten them is it the ones that make you like salivate really, really a lot? Yes, astringent is the word you're looking for. Astringent, yes. <laughs> yeah, see, that's my favorite. Oh, I was about to oh, say that. Too. That was my next. This is kid. Mexican plum, uh, Prunus no, mexicana. Prunus. So, so they look alike. The plant looks like it's really stressed out and thirsty. It's just the way it looks. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with this plant right now. So they look kind of. They look kind of similar. Yeah. Oh, not really. Are you talking about the the peach? No, it's peach. So it's tart, but it's no, it's not pinately compound though. Okay. So it usually looks kind of wilted. Yes. That is just it. You'll get locked, Joe. Is this simple? It is simple. It is simple leaf. Prunus says. Um, I believe it's a crenate margin. I don't. Completely quote me on that yet. Yes, crenate margin. That's funny, but. Not a fan. Keep busting on the side. Yeah, it is. I did. Um. It's gonna be kind of leathery. Um. Kind of a yellow. We're gonna have black blue fruit. It's going to have really pretty, green, glossy foliage that's opposite to sub-opposite. It's simple, entire, almost kind of rounded to... It's got different kind of leaf shapes. Not really, but the bases are going to be kind of different. This is more... Um, do what? <laughs> well, anyways, so glossy green foliage that's thick and leathery. If you feel the new growth, which is more typical of Virginiana than it is, of, but it's going to be kind of flattened new growth. You mean the. Uh is it a shrub? Yeah. No, the stem. Yeah, at the bottom. Yeah. I like the stream. The flowering is better than the Yeah, the flowering, it gets the same fringe tree because it's going to have, the flowers are going to have four linear petals that grow in groups. And it looks and it looks better on the Virginiana than it does on the Rattusis. They kind of hang, uh huh. You can kind of see remnants of the uh, yeah. of the flowers here, but it, it looks like fringe, which is where it gets its name, fringe tree.